Hello everybody, Bilbo Swaggins here. Welcome back. We are doing Tainted Apollyon and we got to do Mega Satan and Delirium. So we're basically only going to be doing Mega Satan because you know how it goes. Every time I want to do Delirium, it doesn't let me into the Delirium room. But how's everyone's day been? Hopefully it's been pretty good. Our last run was garbage and I am recording this right after the last run. So I'm still mad about what happened last time, but we're here to change that. We're here to make uh, amends. You know what? That's... um. Do we locust this or do we keep it? Because Book of the Dead actually can be kind of good. We're going to keep it and then we'll locust it later. I think that's the play. Because it's got some actual high value, I guess, early usage. Being able to create a little ring that blocks projectiles is nice. And also getting the bonies is kind of high damage. But we turn them into here. We didn't get any bonies, but it's fine. We'll get bonies eventually. Plus, picking it up gives us one towards the bookworm transformation. It, this is the better way to do this, I think. Already uh, any, uh, you know, just an immediate better start than what happened in the last run. So I feel like this is it. This is where the luck turns around. It's going to be an easy run. Now, we are going to be playing angel deals. So we're going to be ignoring the first devil deal here to ensure we get a day angel deal at least. That way we can get key pieces. Get the key pieces. We fight Mega Satan. Hopefully, we fight Delirium, too. I would like to. It's been a while since I've seen my lad, Delirium. I mean, that's also a good thing, because I don't like seeing the lad. He annoys me. He gets bullshit hits in, and it's like, haha, what a good boss fight. <laughs> Rework win? Win, Edmund? Win? Secret room is gotta be down, right? In this room? Down on the left? Yeah, look at this spot. Secret room? Thank you. Pop into here. Nothing too crazy, but, you know, we'll take it. Bomb this guy. You never know. Sometimes you get ahead of Keeper. Who knows? Uh, we don't really have any HP, but there is an HP down over here. Let's go into the curse room. Let's go into the curse room. We are not on a timer, so we can kind of play this run how we want. We are not on a timer, right? Yeah, we're not on a timer. We're not on a timer. We can go to chess. We can go to chess. We can play it however we really want. We're kind of gaming like that right now. We got the moves. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm not dead. That's the important part. Just don't get hit again. Don't hit again. We take Bob's curse. Turn that guy into a bone. Pick up this HP. And we're fine. We're golden. We have upgraded bombs now. We have Book of the Dead. It's not looking bad. Let's go into the shop here. See if we can do anything here. Um, There's Nickel Boy. Nickel Boy. We have a lot of bombs, so. Nickel Boy. Bomb these guys, too. Okay, nothing. Bomb these guys. Okay, um, well, there is one thing here. We could go to Dark Floor if we can get Pandora's box somehow, which there might be a way with Swallowed Penny. Because if we go to Dark Floor and unlock Moving Box, that's something we can get done. But we would have to drop Book of the Dead. But then we could turn Book of the Dead into Locust, so it's still got value. Uh, one of you guys, one of you viewers suggested that I should turn all my active items into Locust, and I'm like... Yeah, I mean, I can do that, but it's just like these locusts, they don't do a lot of DPS, guys. Uh, maybe I'm, like, underestimating it, but, like, even if I was firing out 20 of these, I think I would still be doing more damage with, like, 5 damage plus, like, 3 tier 8. <laughs> so it's just like, I don't know. These locusts are very weak. And the ones that do have synergies are still very weak. So it's like, I don't know. It's like, listen, you can see when it hits, it's not a lot of damage. And it's hard to hit in the first place. I guess, you know, more makes it more likely to hit, but it's not a lot. Like, we're not cooking Gemini because we have one Locust. We're not going to be cooking Gemini either because we have 20 Locusts. We're going to be cooking Gemini if we have 20 Locusts because we have, like, 20 other items, too. Squeezy, we take. Um, That gives us some HP. So, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is the big money move. We hit ourselves, hit ourselves, hit ourselves, hit ourselves, grab the money. We grab Pandora's box, we're going to drop Book of the Dead, and we're going to go Dark for it because we're going to unlock Moving Box, because may as well, right? Now, we're going to have to hold on to this for the rest of the run, but it gives us more reason to turn every single active item into Locust. Ooh, we could have re-rolled that. No, we can't re-roll that. Never mind, that's not how the shop re-roll works. I am thinking wrongly, not factually. We head down. We're good. So, we have two Locusts now. It's nothing crazy. Make sure we don't hit the space bar at all, because we hit space bar, Pandora's box is gone. 
But if we do get a double active card, we can use Pandora's box for free, basically. Which is nice. Because sometimes some of the fours actually do have a nice little, you know, pop of it. Sometimes it's like a bunch of soul hearts. Sometimes it's some items. I mean, that's not bad. But we'll see if we can actually, like, get something like that going. Wild card can be crazy, too, I guess. I mean, if you were able to dupe a bunch of wild cards and then just, like, start spamming Pandora's box, I guess that would be interesting if you had, like, the ones that spawn items or even two items. Because then you just spawn a bunch of items really rapidly. Ansys rune we take for now. Also, we bomb the fool's gold, right? I mean, that's just a bunch of money. I'll take that. And, well... We'll think about moving that TNT. I'm not sure if I want to do that yet. It seems like a hassle. And, I don't know. It's going to be a very calm run at first, I guess. I mean, at least we have tier rate. Something we did not have in the last run at all. Period. <laughs> so, I feel like we're already doing way better. We got nice bomb effect. We got nice tier rate. We got some soul hearts. We got some money. It's not going bad. It's not going bad. It's a normal Isaac run. I definitely feel confident about this one already. And there we go. Envy is dead. Envy never drops anything. We grab the HP. <coughs> Excuse me if that got picked up on the old mic there. Key in there. I don't think we're going to be able to grab that. We, we don't really have any bombs left, so I'm not going to just grab a key for a bomb right now. Unless we absolutely need it for some reason. Okay. I really don't like that we have Curse of the Lost. It's so annoying. Oh, SMB. Nice. That's kind of massive. Nice little stat up. Dude, we're doing way better than we were before. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm actually having a good time right now. We have some stats. We have some damage. We got a little bit of a plan. We got a plan of action. Careful. Don't get locked in the corner. Jesus Christ. Grab the money. I'm kind of hoping we can get a double active card, though, because... Being able to sort out the items issue, or even HP issue, if we get, like, the Soul Heart one early on, it would be nice. I think when cards spawn in a run like that, like the special cards, I think they're more likely to appear, right, throughout the run. It's like they're seeded to pop in. It's kind of like the, uh, runes. So, like, you know, the runes, like, let's say, like, Soul of Cain starts appearing in this run. Soul of Cain will probably keep appearing in this run, as opposed to, like, Soul of Magdalene. At least that's what it feels like to me. I don't know if that's factual at all. That's just, like, my gut feeling based on, like, years of Isaac. But I'm pretty sure it's the case. It probably has to do with, like, how the game generates stuff with the seeds. We go into here. We're cooking. Baby Plum. Easy cook. At this point, we have a lot of stats. Should be an easy kill. Easy cook. Easy kill. I really don't like fighting Baby Plum as, like, a first boss, but, like, this one is not a bad one to fight right now. We have actually pretty decent items overall. Okay. Really, the only thing we need right now is just a little bit of more tier rate, a little bit more damage, and we have a solid build. HP, I'll take it. Um, we are playing Mega Satan, so we ignore the first one. We are ignoring the first one, so that way we can guarantee an angel deal. Ooh, yes. We we definitely grab. Hopefully, we can get both here. Starter deck plus stopwatch would both be very, very cool. Oh, I bought the bomb, you motherfucker. You bitch. God damn it. We would have had enough money, too. With just a couple hits, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Well, we have stopwatch, which is fine. We don't really need starter deck. It just would have been nice to have. I didn't mean to buy the bomb. Freaking coin fell right on top of it. I thought I was not close enough. Let's, um, let's pop into Curse Room here. Soul of Isaac is huge. Pop answers. Soul of Isaac is crazy valuable. We got a nickel there. That was lucky. Surprised we picked it up. Oh, we got fucking hit. I'm stupid. I didn't even try and dodge that. That was dumb. Oh, goddamn. I'm getting hit like a mofo right now. And we do have a library here, which is really good because we're going to be able to do what the one viewer said. And I should be able to turn all those guys into locusts. 
which I guess is fine. I mean, I'm not super excited about it, but I guess more damage is more damage. It's like when you find a familiar for free, even if it's Brother Bobby, you're like, well, more damage is more damage. I suppose. I don't think it's going to be run changing, but maybe I'll be wrong. You know, maybe I'll get proven wrong. Because obviously, you know, repentance characters aren't my forte. Can we get another key? I'm going to pop into the treasure room first, just because I think this is a better idea. Nothing crazy in here, but I think this is still a better idea. Give me magic mush. You know you want to. We'll be back when we have more bombs. We do have secret room on the left here and shop and an arena, which I think will play for the consumables because our consumables is not very high yet. And I'll try and get into the shop here to bomb the shop so that way we can perhaps, perhaps increase our devil deal chance or angel deal chance in this case, which would be nice. I would like to have a higher chance to get it. That way we get it knocked out of the way early. I'd rather... Oh, okay. Well, that was a crazy fucking bend. Like, bro pre-fired me and he's in slow motion. Uh, secret room right here. Okay, battery. Not exactly what we're looking for. We do have a bunch of money, so I would like to get into the shop. Oh, we don't have HP to get into the arena. Oh, I'm... I'm silly. I am very, very silly. I forgot that we need to be full HP. Well, it won't be... Oh my god, are we just getting fucking, like, lit up? What's happening? God damn, can we chill? Let me get close. Welcome, thank you. Man, we're getting fucked up. I'm keeping Soul of Isaac on hand, so when we get the angel deal, at least hopefully when we get the angel deal, we can uh, pop that on the angel deal there and maybe get a perhaps better item. Pop into the shop for sure. Pop into the shop for sure. Birthright. Locusts continuously damage enemies without returning while the fire button is held? Sounds kind of good, actually. Right? Wait, how does this work? Do they chase down targets? I, the way it's worded, it makes me think it chases down targets, but I'm not sure. If it does, that's actually pretty good. If that is the case, I am very excited to see if this increases our DPS quite a bit with the Locusts. We'll see. We're going to find out for that. That's for damn sure. Oh, three books. Perfect. That's what we're talking about, baby. And then we're going to pop this. Um, I mean, a reverse strength card isn't bad, but it's just we have Soul of Isaac is the problem. The Abyss. We add more Locusts to the party. I kind of want to take the reverse strength card, but uh, Soul of Isaac is just way too useful, man. It's way too useful. Hopefully we get the angel deal and we can just come back, but I'm not feeling too confident at 11% chance. I'm not feeling well. Uh, not enough. Not enough. Not enough. It's not enough. Okay, and get into our super secret room. Hopefully it's HP. I would like to get that back up. It is. Goody, good, good. That's what we're talking about, baby. Let's test out this new damage on the boss. Oh, they do chase him down. Oh, wow. Okay. That's actually really good. Now, I'll say with the birthright here, these guys are doing some pretty good damage. Because now, they're basically flies that just home in on enemies and don't die. I mean, we get hive mind. There might be some idea cooking there. I maybe underestimated the damage. Is that just euthanasia right there? What the fuck? Wait. Really? I mean, that's pretty good since they home. I don't... It seems like I don't have to hit them. They just go. As long as they're close enough, they just go. No, you have to hit them. Okay. You have to make a hit, but then it'll stick on them. Okay. I understand. So this is really, really good versus bosses. Like, really, really good versus bosses. God damn it. Well, I tried to get in and out of there as fast as I could. Maybe to not get damaged twice, but whatever. Okay, we got euthanasia for free, which is actually, like, really dope. We hopefully kill this guy. Bomb. Don't care. Didn't ask. Cope seed ratioed. The locusts are actually kind of good. I'm, I'm sorry for doubting the locusts, but, like... It, they did need a little bit of prep time to make this work. 
I think the birthright's honestly doing most of the work right now. I think it's a good synergy. You get hive mind and the high, the locust increase in size, and I think we're actually like cooking. At that point, we're definitely cooking. Going to here. There is a blood donation machine. I would like to play it because that does scale with uh, Swallowed Penny. Swallowed Penny would make that pretty dope. Hit these guys. I do wish they maybe homed in a little bit, but they it's fine. I guess once you get so many of them, it won't matter. Because if you get like fucking like 20 of these guys out, at least three of them are going to hit the enemy no matter what. Sir, I'm going to need you to die. Imagine we get Crooked Penny, though, and we, like, just dupe a bunch of items, turn them all into locusts. That would be crazy. That would actually be crazy. Uh, we go in the shop. We go in the shop because I think shop is a better plan. Um, HP. There is HP in here. There's also this guy. Bomb this. Okay, cool. Okay, really cool. Oh, it doesn't work with that, but it doesn't work with that, right? No, it's just going to suddenly double them. Okay. Smelter's like a good idea. Smelter is a really good idea. Hmm. Pins in here? Yeah. I thought so. Up in the air. Bombs, wig. What the fuck? We're getting the fly build? You give me hive mind. We actually like win. Like this is a straight up win. You give me hive mind, it is a auto win, basically. I'm gonna open that preemptively. We take smelter. We take smelter, then we abyss him. Walled pennies now in the build. We abyss. We abyss. We have another locust now. Okay. We go up. We go up here. We play this a little bit because it's just what we do. Hopefully, it pops one bag early. A swallowed penny, as you can see, does work with that. And we are just getting a lot of money. Hopefully, we can get a little bit more HP here. We do have a rotten heart down there. I'll grab it here in a second. I'm going to check this room, though. I mean... I mean... This isn't bad. This isn't bad at all. We got the flies. Hold on. I mean, sorry, we don't have the flies. We have the locusts. But are the locusts spawning spiders like Mom Twig is supposed to do with your normal tiers? Boss arena room. That's lucky. Uh. Planetarium chance, I'll take it. Judgment. I mean, we could play the Judgment. Play the Judgment, get an HP up. It's an idea. It's frail. Careful. God damn. And they home in on him still? Even when he goes under? So I just have to hold in a direction. Yeah. Wow. Judgment. Okay. That was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. I am not going to lie. That was a lot of DPS per second. I am mildly impressed. <laughs> HP? <laughs> sure. Sure. Okay. Let's go to the right here. I mean... <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe... I think the locust guy was right. Holy shit. I mean, this is a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Holy shit, man. Um, our DPS is actually really fucking high now. God damn. If we get high mine, it's it's just not it's over. It's fucking over. I don't think we could lose. Okay, please give me blood bag. Give me blood bag. I mean, we're cooking. Why are we not taking damage? Why weren't we taking damage? I'm not 100% sure why we weren't taking damage. What was giving us invulnerability? Oh! This gives you a chance to be invulnerable, right? I think so. Okay, that makes sense. I, w I just wasn't thinking about it. Okay, we're cooking. Was there any keys in here? No. Well, we can grab some more HP. And now we keep moving. Hopefully we get a key in here. Oh, well, he's just dead. I mean, he's just not even getting a chance. Because every time he pops out, I mean, he gets melted. And by every time he pops out, I mean the one time he pops out. Because see, that's all he's going to get. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I think we I think we won. I, I think we won. 
What were we going for again? <laughs> we're going for Mega Satan and Delirium. Jesus Christ. Can we get our angel deals? We had the pro we had this problem in the last run though, to be honest. I don't know what's with the lack of angel deals, man. I mean, I'm getting hit, sure, but like, come on. Come on. You can be a little bit nicer than that. Oh? Oh, I do. Soul of Isaac it. So, uh, hold on. Now, yeah, Soul of Isaac it. Soul of Isaac. Eucharist! It was so worth. People will be talking about this one for generations. We just knock Gabriel out of the way immediately. I mean, bro doesn't even get a chance here. Every time he stops, it's just Jover. I realized stopwatch is actually an insane fucking like support for the locust right now because like the stopwatch is making it so they're so much slower so like he's just, just straight up like the locust just getting a free hits in they're getting free hits in it's not even a struggle for him at this point they don't have to chase down the enemy the enemy's already getting chased down with fucking the speed downs man this is actually a, this is a pretty unique build. It's pretty unique and the synergies are pretty good. This is a new one for me. I like it. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. It reminds me like when you're playing like a, a big mod overhaul and it's like you like finally like unlock a secret part of your brain where you're like, holy shit, this is this is actually an insane combo. This is what this feels like. Okay, they're just cooked. I mean, it's like some of the locusts were hitting and I couldn't tell if they were doing damage or not. I just saw the HP bar dropping. So I was like, yeah, I think they're on top of the dude. God damn. The euthanasia that's mixed in too is also pretty crazy because that's just an occasional like one tap while we're shooting. Chariot card we keep. We like chariot cards around here. They have good value. Hook them. Pop in a year. I'll take giant cell. And you know, it's just more minions. I mean, why the fuck not? Why not? May as well have more minions. Because, you know, I mean, who who doesn't need more minions? Dude, if you don't give me hive mind, I'm going to be mad. Because, like, hive mind would be so fucking cool at this point. Not getting hive mind would be a big bummer. I know we win regardless, but, like... Just think about if we get the hive mind combo. The hive mind combo is so crazy on paper. Bigger room right here. Pill. Amnesia. That's terrible. It's it's terrible. It's it's just so fucking terrible. <laughs> is that okay? Okay. Um. Well, we have curse of the maze and curse of the lost now, which just sucks. I think we just go to the boss room. I don't want to be on this floor anymore. The shop sucked. Hopefully we get a good shop on the next floor. And hopefully it's not greed. Please don't be greed. I beg you. <laughs> I beg you. But yeah, we're out of here. We're out of Jabouti. Okay. Oh, Loki's getting cooked. Because he can't run away. And all of them are on top of him? God damn. God damn. Uh, I don't care about speed. You turn into a, a fly. We go down. We go down. My God. We are cooking. We did not make boss rush, but that doesn't matter. It's not like it. Like, I mean, boss rush is always an optional thing to me. That does not matter in the slightest. If we don't have to get the mark, I don't care. If we don't get it, it's whatever. It's nice to get the bonus item sometimes, but who cares? Also, another library is insane. It's like, hey, do you want more locusts? If there's three books in here again, I'm going to, like, scream. I wonder if there's any way... Does Box of Friends double locust? Probably not. A Box of Friends typically doesn't work with things like that because it's just... It would probably be too OP. I mean, I'm, I'm going to agree with it. It's probably going to be... It would be a little OP if you could just dupe things like that. Okay. Give me an item. <laughs> Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Um, keep going. Soul heart. Okay. Well, we didn't get anything. It's fine. It's cool. It's cool. It's fine. I'm not that worried about it. Oh, we don't have a key. Well, 
We need to get a key. Why is keys always a problem recently? I feel like every time, every time, it's always like, where's the key? I don't know where the keys are. The keys aren't here. There's a bunch of sacks in this room. Can we get a flight card? Flight card would be pretty cool. Should be plenty of keys in that room on paper. Sacks typically have at least a couple keys in them. Colonel Hart, I will gladly take. I like more HP. Not lose the soul heart. Kind of useful, to be honest. Looks like there's a lot of potential spawns for where the secret room is. Which I don't like. Come on. Come on. Get a freaking couple locust hits here. Golden key that I can't reach. Come on, man. You gotta give me a flight card. Anything? Come on. I can't get into these rooms without a freaking keys, man. What the hell? Careful. Where's where's the where's the consumables I actually need? Where's Glyph of Balance when you need it? It would give me a key by now. This is crazy. This is actually crazy. Where is the keys? There's no way. Please? Retrovision? Do you drop key? Pride drops keys, yeah. He dropped a key. We go into the shop because the shop has a high chance to have a sack. If it's greed fight, I mauled. Like, I will scream, dude. This is not the time to give me the greed fight. Like, Edmund, I am fucking begging you. Don't let this be a greed fight. Okay. And it is a re-rollable shop, which is actually insane. So we re-roll. We open this. We get some items. Give me hive mind. I am a very happy man. You give me hive mind. I will take mystery gift as well, though. Um, you give me hive mind. I'm a very, a very happy boy. I'm doing that completely wrong. That's impressive. Honestly, it took more effort to do it the wrong way than to do it the right way. You should applaud yourself, Bill. Why did I not take mystery gift with me, by the way? I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry about my actions. <laughs> I like wasting time, okay? Go into here. Mystery gift. Grab. We take that to the secret room. We take that to the secret room. We pop it in there. We get something crazy like Glitch Crown. The reason Glitch Crown's crazy right now, well, because it's Glitch Crown, but also because that would give us a very high chance to find Hype Mind in the shop. We get Orphan Socks. Okay. Bomb that. More money. Yes. Thank you. That's what we're talking about, baby. Go into here. Give me something. Oh, boy. We just run. <laughs> we just run. Okay. Um, zoom into here. We have... We need one more key, to be honest. We need one more key. Really? Come on. One more key. Oh, come on. What is this? Well, we're going to have to buy a key at the very least because I'm not going without the library. The library is too valuable. You got to give me hive mind. There's no way you don't. You don't give me hive mind. I'm just sad. Hey, well, there's no point grabbing these. There's no point grabbing them. So just immediately turn them into abyss. Noise. More goodies for me. You shouldn't have. Go into the item room because I eh, may as well check out what it is. It could be something pretty good. Thunder Thighs is actually kind of crazy right now, though. We have high speed. So that's actually helping us because we don't want that much speed. Crawl space. Why not? It's kidney bean, though. Um, We get a battery. We, like, just turn it into a locust. May as well because kidney bean sucks. Well, I mean... I, I, we could break skulls. Break skulls, maybe get something. Lover's card, I mean, thanks. Free HP. Chariot card. Keep that on hand. I think we're going to want to keep that one for a while. And... 
I guess we roll the shop, see if we can maybe pull out a... Well, I made that a lot harder than it needs to be now. <laughs> Come on, you know you want to give me high mind. Come on. Come on. Come on. No! But there is... There is this guy in here. Steam sale is pretty interesting. I don't think we're going to make hush because it's just not possible, but it is in there. Now, I don't see a reason not to grab steam sale. I am a little sad that we did not get hive mind. It's still possible to get it. I just wouldn't hedge your bet on it. Let's go back and turn kidney bean into a locust. We really kind of got the army going on right now. We got the big army city. Where is the skull? Oh, it's in here. It's actually in the item room. And consume him. New locust obtained. We have the army boys. We got the little mini me's. And then we got the, uh, the locust right behind. It's like the rangers and the foot soldiers. Oh. Oh, well. I was kind of hoping for something cool. Judgment. Would be cool. I'll pop them. You never know. You might get something like Lucky Foot, and then you turn your pills positive, and then you like have a tears down turned into a tears up, and it's like, okay, we're gaming. That's not what happened, but it could have. Different timeline. Okay, I think we're done here. It was a good four. It was still a really good four. We should probably... Oh, wait, we have Eucharist. Never mind. I was like, we should probably ensure we get our angel deal. Or rather, angel keys, but never mind. We literally have Eucharist. It's not a big deal. We can see when she's about to stomp, because the locust will actually move. Which is actually pretty crazy. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Can you stomp down, please? Please die. Thank you. Uh, we are going negative because we want to pop the box in the dark four. And we take this. Oh, I not mean to do that. We lost our eternal heart accidentally. I didn't mean to do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> that sucks. It's fine. We go down. We are fine. And past that, it's just now we're, we're hopefully, 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 hopefully. We get the delirium fight. That's about it. Because we're killing Mega Saiyan with this. Mega Saiyan's going to die real easily with this setup. No key, Andy? Come on. Where are the keys? Where are the keys? We should have went into the arena first. I wasn't thinking about it. I'm scared. Please don't hurt me. Please. One of you get hit by my locusts. I beg you. It's hard to aim them because they only fire like one at a time. They actually like come out in like a little like formation. So it can be a little tricky to aim them sometimes. It's definitely not the easiest thing in the world. Get him boys. If he comes out again, fuck him up. <laughs> they started firing before he even did it. Jesus. Okay. I guess we could grab the sack. I forgot that we have thunder thighs now. There's no reason not to grab the sack. Strength card? It's kind of crazy though. We take. You never know when you might need a strength card. That damage potential is insane. Walk this lad. He's dead. I do not want Curse of the Maze. Contrary to what you might think. <laughs> I do not have fun when I randomly get teleported. Where's our boss room? Did that in the weirdest way possible, I think. I've never done it that way. But I mean, you know what? It was kind of effective. Grab another key. May as well keep grabbing as many keys as we can. Because you never know when you might run into a key beggar or you just need the keys. That was crazy that I did that without getting damaged. Can't wait to damage myself in a stupid way in the next two seconds. Oh, sacrifice room. I do like more angel items. I'm a big fan. Is this a good idea, though? No. <laughs> no, absolutely not. You should not be doing this in this kind of situation. You should just be taking your free win and be happy with it. We hit again. 
That's what we're talking about, baby! We basically traded the amount of damage we would have taken over the, like, next couple of fours and turned it into an item. World card? Actually kind of useful. There could be something crazy in the shop. Or the secret room. Same difference. Add a keeper? No, it never is. It never is when you want it to be. It never is when you want it to be. That's the problem. The game knows. It's got. It's hard coded. Okay. Well, I mean, we've got the we've got the setup. I think we've won regardless. We have wafer to really just ensure that it's gonna be easy. He's dead before he can even run. That that should tell you that you're OP. Oh, uh, circle protection, obviously. And what is this? Infested. Infested. All right, downwards we go. So we got wafer. We got circle of protection. Listen, we're just not going to be taking many hits now. We're just not going to be taking many hits at all. We're kind of set up for greatness. Now it's kind of like idiot proofed. That's what my runs need. They need idiot proofed. <laughs> Grab the HP, grab the bomb. Circle protection, I feel like it's kind of slept on. Some people like kind of look at it and it's like, meh. But you gotta understand, it's actually really crazy because the projectiles that get reflected from circle protection copy your damage and your projectile tier effects. So if you have like Polly, for example, and a tier reflects off of your circle protection from an enemy, say it's like delirium and it keeps happening. It's going to be that 30 damage poly tier, and it's going to have homing. That's really good. I mean, it's a damage item on top of the defensive item. Don't sleep on circle protection. It's good. It's got that contact damage if, you know, enemies are too close. It's got that defensive aspect of, you know, throwing the tiers away from you. But then it's also got the damage potential. It's just a solid ass item. People look at it and they're like, eh, I don't know. I'll take it, I guess. It's not bad. But it's actually like straight up almost a quality four in usefulness. It might be one of the best quality threes in the game. I really don't like that we have Curse of the Lost right now. I'm really hoping the boss is up here on the right. Because if it's not, well, I don't know where he's at. I'm begging you. Please be up here. Okay. Please be down here. <laughs> Hopefully. I really don't like these enemies. They're like little leprosy guys that come off of them. They fire tears at you when they die. And you kill them so fast. It's like suddenly now it's like, why am I taking damage? Oh yeah, it's because that guy spawned like 20 leprosy bits. And now they're all firing tears at me at the same time. Where's our boss? God damn. Just get me out of this freaking mess of a four. Nothing on the right? No, there is something on the right. It just keeps going. You got deja vu. I keep running the same enemies. Nothing over here. Okay, <laughs> great. What the hell? Um. Hmm. Down? Hopefully down. I don't know. Grab the bomb. Go to the right. Man, this is tough. I'm trying to keep my mind on where everything is and where the boss room potentially is. I'm just kind of hoping it's over here because if it's not over here, it's somewhere on the bottom left and I have no idea where the fuck that would be. Oh, you are pooping me. You are pooping me. You're shitting me. You're uh, you're doing the whole nine yards. Okay, we're good. Thank God. I was really hoping there was a room and there was and it, luckily it was the boss room. God damn. I was getting a little worried there. I hate when Curse of the Lost procs on a really big four. Like, when it procs on Void, I, I genuinely want to close the game. It is terrible. I feel like we should just focus on Mom. Like, just get every single Locust on there. Maybe take a hit for it. I think it's worth. Because, like, they will, she will get melted so goddamn fast. Yeah, look at her. Okay, and we go into our Angel deal. We are going down. Relic, I'll take. Easy take. 
Um, yeah, we're going down. We're going down, and we are going to fight Mega Saint. We have the keep. We're good. Okay, good. No mistakes were made. I made a mistake once in the past. Never again. We're going up. This is the redemption run from what happened in the last run. Oh, shit. I did not realize there was invisible guys right on top of me. And it's Eternal Heart City. I don't know if I maybe should have picked that up. We do have Relic. I still want to be able to pick up Soul Hearts, obviously. Let's grab Wooden Cross. Free hit, basically. Get on the next four as well. Let's just hope we get out of here pretty quickly, because I don't want to be on Shoal. Shoal has some annoying enemies to deal with. Oh, there's our first Greed fight. Don't really care about him, though. You want to give me Lucky Foot? If you give me an HP up, I won't take. I'm actually going to take a hit purposely here to get rid of this Eternal Heart. Because I just don't think it was worth. Yeah. Please? Oh, fuck. We have uh, we have the one thing. Here, take a hit like that. We have, we have freaking Orphan Socks. Which sucks. God damn. So much money. These greeds. But yeah, I just didn't want to like max out our HP so we can still get value out of Relic. Because Relic is going to proc Soul Hearts here soon. That guy's never worth playing. The demon, like, cup or skull game beggar, whatever you want to call him. He's got a certain name. I don't care what it is. He sucks. There's just no reason to play that guy. HP for that is not worth. Maybe if you could do it for free somehow, but uh, I still don't. I don't even play the normal one that much. Only if I, like, absolutely have to. Hook him. Hook him. And he is dead. This should be very easy. Yeah, wow. That damage is crazy. That damage is insane. What the fuck? What the fuck? Wait, did that hollow poop just spawn petrified poop? Wait, <laughs> wait, really? That's funny. Well, we, we're still going to take wooden cross. Petrified poop doesn't have much value here. We're going down. And we will turn our HP into items now. What we got? A Ouija board? I'll take it. You know what? I'll take it. Oh, there he is! Twisted pair, first time! Let's go. It's a it's a great item. It, it's like actually an insane item. Uh, so you get like two familiars. It's like Incubus in a weird functional way if you don't know what this is. They do, uh, what is it, 30% of your damage? But like, they copy all your tier effects and your damage based on that. And yeah. I mean, you're just like, you're firing out three, you're firing out two more shots. You're firing out two more shots. Sure, not as much damage, but you got tear effects going on and shit. It gets crazy fast. It's like, you get two, oh, okay, uh, <laughs> sure. You get like two incubuses and yeah, I mean, they're not as crazy as incubus in terms of just raw damage, but in terms of potential, I think it's more potential than incubus. Eve's Mascara was kind of a crazy get there. Because uh, they copied the Eve's Mascara, so their damage is now doubled. So we're just kind of cooking. Our shot speed might be a little low, but who cares? It's just shot speed. We will go fight Lamb here to maybe ensure we can maybe get a Delirium Portal. But I still want to fight Mega Satan. I don't know. Does it matter? I still want to get items here as well. No reason not to get the items. What a straight hallway. Jeez. Okay, grab the key, and there is our boss fight. We will beat him up real quick. Should be a fairly quick fight, too, because the uh, locusts, yeah, <laughs> the locusts are doing a little bit of damage. They're doing a little bit of damage. Did we get a portal? No, man. Because I was going to be like, I was going to have to make like a choice there if it did appear. It's like delirium is just more uncommon to run into. You could guarantee a delirium spawn by going to Hush, but no, Hush is definitely harder than Lamb. I guess it's not that bad, but I don't know. I don't like going to Hush. Get put on a timer. I hate being on a timer. I want to take my time with a run. I like thinking. Sometimes. Twisted Pear, man. That was a huge get. I'm so glad we got him already. He's such a fun item. Who's alive? You. No item. Oh man, no item. It's because we don't have much luck. 
Luck does affect your room clear rewards. Higher room clear rewards, higher chance to get chests. Man, no chest dandy. Oh well. It's fine. We got Eve's mascara, which was pretty cool. We still do have a couple rooms left, but I'm not gonna hedge my bets. Not gonna hedge my bets. Pop up here. And let's go to the left. And then we fight Mega Satan. I'm not gonna grab shade or anything, because I mean it's just not worth it. That HP is probably gonna be more valuable than shade, which is sad. Knockback's pretty crazy. Nice little tear up too. Knockback's really good because the Twisted Pair have the same knockback as me. And we're just firing out more tears, so just way more effective knockback. Book them. God damn, that DPS is so high. Even without the Locust, our DPS is crazy high. It's just so good right now. It's so good. Oh, yeah, we need to pop Pandora's box. We unlocked it, right? I hope so. We popped it in the dark four, right? It didn't pop up, but maybe it'll pop up on the next four. I hope we didn't have it unlocked already. I haven't seen moving box at all in any run, so we definitely did not have it. So that should have unlocked it. I think we just need to go to the next four or end the game. Which one of these will happen here? But here we go. Here we go. It'll be an easy fight because the locusts are just going to stick on him and they're going to melt him. Like, they're just going to absolutely melt him. Look at his HP bar go. Oh, yeah. Here's circle protection actually becoming relevant because the tears that get reflected are now our Eve's Mascara tears with homing on top of them. So, pretty fucking good. That's what I'm talking about. Fuck him. Famine, can you hold still, please? <laughs> Thank you. And you're next. My god, poor dude. He's just getting shredded. He's already in the next phase. Okay, poor Envy. Bro split and immediately just broke. I feel bad, honestly. Like, we're so powerful right now. Is this like a point you hit in the run where you're just so strong that you just like feel bad for the enemies? Like, they didn't deserve this. They're just like wild animals. They don't know better. Book them. Yep. Bro didn't even get the fire and attack. <laughs> he didn't even get the fire and attack. Or Yuri. <laughs> Uriel and Gabriel both got cooked. Gabriel got cooked even more and the dude has more HP. Damn. That was a quick first phase. Given we only have 12 damage, that was pretty damn quick. Those locusts are doing a lot. Okay. Hit him with the dodges. I mean, his HP bar is just dropping, bro. I, I don't even have to look. He couldn't kill me if he tried at this point. If he hit every hit, it wouldn't matter. I have so much HP because we're taking half damage. I don't have to move. I don't have to move. I do have to move, but I'm not going to move. I refuse to move. Out of pettiness at this point. Please give me delirium. Please. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Every time. Every time. Why is it every time? At least we got Mega Satan done, but God, every time. Every time. I just want to fight delirium after Mega Satan. Is that so much to ask for? But anyways, did we get moving mucks? We got moving mucks. Okay, good. I was worried about that. We got rotten bakers. They're not that good. Okay, well, that was the run. That was a pretty fun one. I'm kind of locust pilled now. Your boy's not gonna lie. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.